Hey everybody, it's Joe and welcome to another video. Today we're going to show you how to fix a warped stainless steel pan. The entire process only takes about 15 minutes and is super easy to do. So you ready? Let's get into this. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and preheat your oven for 250 degrees. Keep in mind that when a pan warps, the metal in the pan is actually weakened. So this process is going to go ahead and help straighten that back out again but the metal is compromised, so the chances of it warping again down the road are a lot higher. If you're using a pan on a gas range or exclusively in the oven, a lot of times you can get away with a pan that's a little bit warped. The problem is if you're using it on induction, if that pan is not perfectly flat on the surface, it's not gonna heat it at all. It has to make a nice consistent contact all along the surface of the pan, otherwise it's not gonna heat those areas. Also, in most cases, if you're using a warped pan, it's not going to sit on your cook surface straight, which means if you put a little bit of oil in there or something like that, it, a lot of times it'll pull up on the side. And you'll also have to end up moving the contents of the pan around a lot in order to get them to cook evenly. That's just a big pain in the neck, so it's just a better idea to keep your pan straight. Okay, once your oven's heated up, just go ahead and throw that pan in there for about five minutes. Okay, once your pan is ready, go ahead and pull it out of the oven. Make sure you use an oven mitt because this thing is going to be really hot. Also be careful while you're working with it because this is going to be hot the entire time. Now we just got to bring the pan over to our work area. The first thing we have to do is we have to determine which way this thing is bowed out. In my case, the pan is bowed out this way. You can tell that because when it's sitting on a surface, it just flops around like this. It could either get done that way or the inside could bow out. So basically we're going to be using some wood here and we're going to pound this thing back into shape while it's hot. So if it's concave, meaning this is bowed in like this, then we would want to protect the inside surface of the pan. So we'd put something in here, put this wood here, and we'd want to bang this back into shape this way and work our way around the pan. In our case, it's bowed out. So we're going to want to flip it upside down here. I put some bricks underneath here to keep it up off the surface. And because my handles stick out just a little bit, and I'm just gonna take this piece of wood here, which you can see is really flopping around because this thing is warped. And we're just gonna wanna work this around until we straighten this out. Hey, by the way, if this is your first time here and you wanna learn some cool new recipes, get some great kitchen tips and tricks and all sorts of other kitchen related things, then start now by subscribing to the channel and clicking the notification bell so you never miss a thing. Okay, and once you've worked a little while, See, I got this wood back on here again, and you see it's not, it's not moving around at all when I do this. So we've got that pretty flat, so it looks like we've got this about as straight as we're going to get it. And as we put this back on the range, you can see that now it sits pretty nice and flat here. The pan I use is actually a five layer pan and it's really heavy. So what I had to do was heat the pan a lot more. So I brought that up to about 400 degrees and then I was able to work it a lot easier. Also, if your pans are made out of really heavy materials, a block of wood might not be enough. You may have to remove the block of wood, lay a towel down on the surface of the pan and hit it with a rubber mallet instead. In any case, this should get your pan back into usable condition again. I'm gonna go ahead and link a video up top here about why pans warp and what you can do to avoid that in the first place. You may be able to pick up a few tips and tricks to keep your pants from getting into this condition in the first place. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about us, you can visit us online at joesphenomenal.com. I thank you so much for hanging out and watching this video. Your support really means a lot to me. So until next time, I'm Joe, and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.